In this PHP lesson, you'll learn to use the extend keyword to add related programming logic to an already established class file, so you can make subclasses of your base class. We're going to continue with the player class that we left off with in the previous video, and we're also going to add a little bit to our demo.php page, in which we created player1, player2, and we had them melee attack one another, and we had the fight results listed. So let's extend class player. So let's go down outside of the closing curly brace for our class player, and let's type in class inventory extends player. And then we put an opening curly brace and go down and put a closing curly brace. And now we have a, and now we'll have an inventory object reference that extends the player object. Now in this class, I also want to have property. I'm going to name this property items, and it's going to represent an array because it's going to be like a satchel or a sack. The inventory object is going to be something that they can put many items into. So I'm just going to have an array called items. And you can even add items to it by default. So let's put two items in it. Let's give each player flint and a torch. Now let's create the first method that this extension can handle. Go down one line and type in public function add item, open close parentheses, open in curly brace, go down a few lines and close in curly brace. Now in our application, when we call this method add item for the inventory object, it's going to be passed one argument. So we have to scoop up that argument in our class file here, and let's represent that as a variable called new item. Now if you're familiar with working with arrays, all you have to do to add that new item to this existing items array is array underscore push function, which is one of the built-in array functions of PHP. So within the array push function, we're going to reference the this identifier and that player's items array. And then the next parameter is the new item. We're pushing the new item into their existing items array. And that's it. You have now extended your player class it now has an inventory subclass. Now back in demo.php, let's make the magic happen. So we can go down a couple of lines and let's actually just go ahead and collapse this. That way it's not in our way. Now the first thing I'll do is echo a horizontal rule just to put a line dividing everything on the page. Now I'm going to create the prize. And in my case, it's going to be an enchanted ring that the winner of the fight will get. So if Brutus wins the little melee attack and has more hit points after they both attack each other and he's going to win an enchanted ring and we're going to take that enchanted ring and put it in his inventory. So his items array after he wins will be flint, torch, and enchanted ring. While Mysterio does not get any prize because he's a sucker butt. Okay so now let's create new inventory objects for player 1 and for player 2. So we'll create a variable called p1 underscore inventory is equal to new inventory. And we can just grab the inventory class. Open close parentheses, semicolon. You can just highlight that, copy it, go down one line, and make it player 2 inventory is equal to a new inventory. Now we want an if condition to see if the first player won the fight. So we say if p1 hit points is greater than player 2's hit points. Then we're going to grab this player 1 inventory object reference and run its add item method. And the parameter that we want to send through that or the argument is prize, the enchanted ring. So if the player 1 hit points, if Brutus's hit points are greater than Mysterio's hit points after the little melee battle, then Brutus will get an inventory item added. And you can just highlight that line and say else. And inside of your else condition, you can say player 2 inventory add item of the enchanted ring. So that would be adding it to Mysterio's inventory because his hit points would be greater. Now, what I'm going to do is add some code that puts new horizontal lines in, and basically it shows the inventory 
for both of the players. I have little for each loops running over the player 1 inventory items and the player 2 inventory items to dynamically list them out. So you can see after all of this code runs who has the enchanted ring in their inventory and it will be the winner of the fight that took place up in this code. So now let's run this script in a PHP enabled server. Okay the fight went down and you can see that Brutus ended up with the enchanted ring in his inventory because he won the melee attack. So that shows you how to extend onto a class that you have. If you're going to have related programming logic, you might as well just extend that existing class. And we'll touch a little bit more on this when we cover the built-in functions in PHP for object-oriented programming. And basically what wound up happening is that a new item was pushed onto the winner's inventory items array. And the loser of the battle did not get any enchanted ring. So you can see how all of the items in here can stay separated between each of your object instances that are accessing them. So this items array would be a very dynamic thing for each object that is referencing it. 